Hi there, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you can always click the subscribe button or the like or the hands down, the thumbs down, whichever you like. Um, for my return subscribers, uh, thank you for sticking with me. And yeah, today I wanted to talk about um, the new USCIS regulations about the green card coming out in 2020. They're not saying which month at the moment. Um, there has been rumoured before, but for some reason, it's a bit like the British Nationality Act. Um, with the British Nationality Act, you're not meant to be able to be deported, but you can be deported if you've committed a criminal offence, and it's similar now with the US. Um, some new laws uh, with regard to the green card, you can have a green card and you cannot, and you can be deported. I mean, even if you're a citizen, you can be deported if you are a naturalised citizen, as opposed to um, um, born born on the US soil citizen. So what are the new, um, there's this awful noise, I hope you can't hear it. You know what it is? There's a washer on my, um, on my tap and it needs replacing and my plumber can't come in until next week so it's making this bloody awful noise and it's driving me nuts so I have to try and psych it out I think it's worse than the um the alarm because at least with the alarm I, I grew to ignore it but this because it's a new sound it's kind of doing my brain in but sorry about that anyway green card holders um in other words permanent residents can be deported um and so can U.S. citizens in certain circumstances. Um, the green card, which is no longer green, as you probably know, you get it after approval that you, it proves that you're legally entitled to live in the United States. So you can work, you can go to um, university and that kind of stuff. There are two types of green cards. There's a conditional one. You get that like if you marry a green card holder, if you marry a citizen, and that's valid for two years. And then if anything happens with the marriage, you'll have to report it, and they might not renew it, or depending on the circumstances, they might extend it. Oh, and you get the permanent one. The permanent one means you have to replace it or you have to renew it every 10 years. Um, so that's another hoo-ha. Some people who have to, who want to renew it, if they've done any kind of misdemeanor, is not going to get it renewed and they'll be up the spout. So a green card means that you're lawfully a lawful permanent resident. Normally people who have got married to US citizens or green card holders get the conditional one, but you still have to meet certain conditions in order to get that conditional green card. Um, and of course, they'll check that out, you know, especially when you go to renew it. You're supposed to renew it about three months before the two years is up. And then they're going to want to make sure that you've stayed married, you've got joint properties, joint bank accounts. So you better make sure if you're marrying somebody um, to stay in the United States, whether it's for love or otherwise, that it's as genuine as possible, that you've amalgamated and amalgamated all your... Um, bank accounts and stuff like that, your rental agreements, your mortgage agreements, the man and the woman, the wife and the husband must be seen on all documents. Uh, so that by the end of the two years, um, it should be easy to um, extend it provided you're still together. If you're not together and um, supposing it's a female, if you're not together and you're not together because of domestic abuse, for example. Supposing it's a female, she reports that the, her husband has um, has committed domestic abuse. And supposing he's a green card holder, he can get deported if she reports that to the police. Because d domestic abuse comes under moral turpitude and therefore it's a crime which means you can get deported. So women who are reporting husbands or boyfriends or whoever who have given them a few licks, they're on, the, they're on the plane, and rightfully so. What else is there? If you're separated, I've said that, um, there's no law to say that if you green card holders have to get their citizenship. 
but in effect, it is um, better if you do. Now, suppose you get a green card quite legitimately, and then you're committed of a crime subsequently. While, you can, while you're in the country, that's fine. But God forbid you decide to leave the country and go on vacation somewhere, you, you might, they might call it what they call it inadmissible. You won't be allowed back into the country. So if you've been caught with regardless of how petty, I mean, they might just say, they might make it out to look like, oh, it needs to be a serious crime. But any crime that has led you to the police station and led you to have all your fingerprints taken and led for it to be re um, reported on, you have to be very careful if you decide to leave the country because it's very likely they might not let, allow you to come back in if you're a green card holder. Um, if, you are, if you are a citizen, a naturalised citizen, um, you can be deported, but the crimes would have to be a bit more serious. Um, there are certain crimes that violate, violate immigration state laws, that's moral turpitude, fraud, like if you complete your application and you say any lie on it at all. From the spelling of your name to your date of birth, you can't even say it was a mistake afterwards. You can't say, oh, yeah, I meant to put 1972 when you put 1973. Or, oh, I know my name is spelt with an E on the end, but I forgot to put the E on the end. No errors at all. Nothing that's untrue. Otherwise, it'll, it'll constitute fraud and you can be deported for it if they find anything inconsistent on your immigration application. And that's another th reason why if you're a citizen, if you've got your citizenship, and then later on they find out there was something fraudulent in your application, that is when you can be deported. Okay, so anyone who lies on the immigration forms commit fraud and will get a lifetime ban. You can't even go back into the country. Drug abuse, aggravated felonies. Um, yeah, so there's that. Green card and if convicted of a crime, if you leave the country, you're at risk of being deported. I did say that. Also, if you're out of the country for a certain amount of time, you're going to need to find out what that time frame is. Sometimes... In the UK, I think you can be out of the country for 120 days. Well, it could be longer than that. I haven't done this for quite a long time. I think it is a bit longer than that. But you need to find out what the longest you can stay out of the country because if it is, if you overstay, they don't have to allow you to come back in. Okay, and you'll be rendered inadmissible. So, the US new laws, they say ignorance of the law is not a defence of the law. Um, if you're not admitting you are an immigrant on your tax return, apparently there's something that says you've got to say you're an immigrant on the tax return. I mean, that that is discrimination. You should not have to put you're an immigrant on the tax return. What relevance is that? Or that at least there should be an option. You know, like in the UK, you fill up these forms and they do say to you, you have an option not to say. So, you know, to me, if you put you an immigrant on the tax um, tax return, you're already being targeted, aren't you? Because then all the people who are immigrants, they can go into one pile and all the ones that are not going to another pile. And it just makes you easier to target. I don't think that's fair, but if you haven't put it on your tax return, that is a reason for you to be deported if you have a green card. Um, failing to report some of your income. I'm not quite sure what that is, but maybe if you're doing some little job on the side or, you know, you've got a lot of YouTubers doing, um, you've got a lot of YouTubers now in America and they can get a lot of income. And if they're not reporting all of that income, then they can also be deported and they can know how much income you get by um, the interest paid and sometimes people are clever they'll spend most of it on um, trips and goodness knows what else but as long as you've got a good accountant you should be fine 18 to 25 and you haven't registered with selected services if you're aged 18 between 18 and 25 and you've not registered with selected services that will also get you deported 
Um, what else is there? So getting a green card is becoming more difficult now. So it's very important not to make mistakes. Um, you can avoid being deported by becoming a US citizen, but it's not guaranteed. Um, and another thing, if you're not a citizen, you cannot vote. So don't even attempt to vote. Because if you do, your green card will be revoked, apparently, and you can be deported if you attempt to vote as a green card holder. Um, in the UK, Commonwealth citizens who have indefinite leave to remain, which is the equivalent of the green card, do have the right to vote and stand as candidate in all elections. So that's where they differ. Um, not knowing what the new rules could get someone holding a green card kicked out of the United States for good. The United States Citizens and Immigration Services, USCIS, has instituted these new rules that will take effect in 2020, but they haven't said at what month in 2020 they take effect. Um, if you do get deported, there is such a thing as an I-212 waiver. Um, which is discretionary and it can get you back after deportation based on hardship, family tie ties, favourable a favourable time, i.e. no criminal activities, immigration history and um, all the information that led to the, to the deportation. But there's no guarantee and once you're deported, you're more, it's, unless it's illegal deportation and they haven't done something right, I can't see them allowing you back in. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.